Hello again, all my fellow Astroneers. Uh, thank you for joining us here at MT Productions again for another short tutorial on Astroneer. Uh, we're going to cover the basics of scrap collection today, just so you get a general idea. Uh, in the tutorials, I don't give you a lot of rundown on uh, scrap collection, uh, its uses, and uh, what you might want to do with it. Uh, first and foremost, uh, what you're probably going to want and need would be some type of shredder. Uh, today we've gotten ourselves a, uh, an extra large shredder sitting on the back of uh, a large rover. In addition, we have a uh, medium silo there to catch the scrap as it comes off. And we've got a couple of RTGs on our main uh, rover in order to, uh, to keep us powered. Uh, now, well, the extra large shredder actually uses quite a bit of power, so that's why we're going to work this out. And uh, as you can see, it, and as you may know by playing the game, uh, there's typically scrap all over the place on Silva especially, so uh, you're always going to find something to grind up, and uh, depending on the event, you may find other things that are special, uh, like we have this year for the Christmas. For Christmas, uh, you can always grind up things, uh, debris that are available, uh, and strewn about the uh, the planet itself. Uh, now, in order to uh, get started with uh, with scrapping, you can can just run up to uh, anything. Uh, that's kind of sitting on the ground. A lot of times you're going to have to dig it out like that. Uh, these uh, other, uh, you can't run with the items. If you'll notice, I'm, I am actually holding the shift key and it's very, very slow. Uh, but with that, you just go ahead and throw it right uh, on top of the uh, the shredder itself. And it'll begin producing the uh, uh, the scrap that you're going to be using later. And you'll see here it's actually uh, stacking up there into the little... Uh, uh, resource that it creates and you can take care of that uh, now in addition in a lot of places uh, one of the first scraps you're going to find are actually the small debris uh, you can start early with the small shredder and start picking these items up uh, if you uh, just get them to go out of the ground like that a little bit you can shift click on them and they'll start creating in your backpack this little debris bundle. Uh, five bundles will actually uh, uh, create a full basket, which then can then be, uh, be thrown into the uh, the shredder, and uh, and that can then generate some scrap for you. So uh, any item that's not large enough, you'll hear the the no no, uh, but you can start picking up the smaller items and putting them right into your backpack, and they will create the. Uh, uh, the bundle for you. Uh, now, like I said, you need five of them total. A lot of times you're not going to find the, the five total. Uh, you can pick up the uh, pieces that don't fit and drop them directly in, keep creating that scrap, and uh, over time you're going to actually start filling up your storage containers uh, with what gets produced. Uh, as you can see, they go automatically to the back. Uh, you do want to make sure that you have a storage container on your rover. Uh, they will use the four slots in the back, but uh, once those are full, then uh, this particular machine and, and shredders in and of themselves uh, start making a, a, like a chucking sound, chuck, chuck, when they're uh, unable to work, and, and then they don't work at all. So uh, you're going to want to keep an eye on that and make sure you have somewhere for the resource to go once it's created, and, and you should be all set. Uh, it, like, we've done quite a few items so far, and all we've gotten is is the single uh, production of one scrap. So it is going to take quite a bit of scrap in order to accomplish uh, filling up, especially that uh, that medium uh, silo, uh, which holds 32. So uh, I will typically go out and uh, do quite a bit of scrapping, you know, spend an hour or so uh, doing just that. Uh, now for the current event, we have uh, these large... Uh, containers and they, they actually require the extra large shredder and fill it up completely. Uh, we'll have to wait for this item to get done. Uh, I typically wait for these uh, until last so that I can uh, pop those on and then head into the, uh, the cockpit and drive somewhere else and let that uh, continue grinding while I'm working on uh, moving to a new location. And, and again on Silva, not a lot of uh, and not a very big distance you're going to have to travel before that happens so uh once again we're at a new spot we'll just go ahead and, and dig up the uh the debris here uh, we've already picked some up 
and here as you can see we've already created a full waste basket uh, now on the extra large shredder it can hold two of these little baskets in one of the slots so if you do happen to create more than one uh, you can put two in one uh, for for the small pieces so we'll go ahead and And see now the the large container is done. We'll put this medium piece of scrap on there as well, and then we will uh, continue on here. Uh, now the uh, a lot of times the the main scrap that you find all year round is going to have the smaller medium pieces uh, already attached to them. Uh, that's an extra piece that you can grind down. And now that we've uh, come through and uh, shredded some things. We're actually getting quite a bit more scrap than we were. Uh, event items don't yield quite as much, but you, you certainly can uh, create scrap from them. Uh, and it's yet another item you can just pick up and, and use. Now we've got a little bit of scrap back at the base, so we're gonna just going to head right back over here real quick, so we're not going to have to stray too far. And we're going to show you the trading platform, so you can get a general idea of how that's used. Uh, with this uh, set up you can just go ahead and take your scrap slap it onto the module no, lo, node locations there for it and you should be able to trade scrap in for something of use uh, now uh, scrap itself um, or the items that are available are limited to to regular items uh, let's take a look here and we'll see if we send uh, for scrap we can get ourselves two times uh, for the compound so we would end up with eight compound for the four that we have there now and that's pretty much the same for a lot of the basic items uh, for ammonium it's a one-to-one -one trade so one ammonium for one scrap uh, if you're having trouble finding that to create your thrusters there's the aluminum as well uh, copper tungsten uh, you can get iron you can get uh, the zinc the titanium and lithium uh, now lithium is the most expensive it's a four to one trade so a full uh, trading uh, rocket of, of eight uh, scrap items is only going to get you a total of two uh, lithium it's the most expensive item in the game uh, you'd have to go to a planet like Vicenia or Novus in order to, to gain it yourself uh, but if you're having trouble doing so uh, this is one of the ways that you can procure it uh, once you fill it up, you can just go ahead and send that uh, rocket out. It does take about 50 seconds, uh, quite a bit of time, while that's going. And uh, once it's returned, then it'll have the two lithium on it. And perhaps we can use that to uh, create uh, some batteries. Uh, then we'll be able to store more power, and we'll be able to do more in in the game. Uh, we'll just wait a moment for the, uh, for the platform or for the uh, rocket to return. Uh, once again, I'm assuming it's going to the space station. And once it's back from the PlayStation, the space station, which we can watch as it comes down. And we can hear it coming. And there it is. And on there now we have the two lithium that we would need. Uh, one of our scarcer resources to find, a little higher tier item to find. Uh, but if you do want to open maybe the uh, the small battery for the 2,000 bytes, this would be one of the way you can create a, ways you can uh, create a couple of them. Uh, so uh, that is the the basics of scrapping. Uh, just run around, dig the item up, throw it in a in a shredder, and you'll end up with the scrap item. Uh, once you have the scrap item, just send it on the trading platform, or you can come over here and create items on the uh, small printer, like our Cosmic Bobble, for one scrap and one astronium and the 75 recovery points. Uh, that should cover the actual uses and your need for uh, for scrapping. Uh, it's one of those side uh, jobs that you can do, maybe get away from uh, mining and creating sometimes, and actually go out there and clean up the world a little bit. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, let us know if you have any questions or comments. Leave them down there below. Uh, we appreciate you taking the time to watch an empty production, and let us know. Have fun out there, and enjoy Astro Nero.